Oh my goodness, guys, we might have a problem. The NFT market may be propped up by some unsuspecting individuals. Let's start with talking about Blur because this is the biggest culprit, the largest Blur token airdrop. Airdrop 3 is our final N largest airdrop, one to two times airdrop 2. It lasts until Blur launches in January. Earn points by placing bids, maximizing your luck by it, maintaining loyalty, redeem airdrop three care packages with points when Blur launches. We have a token for a marketplace that we don't really know how successful it's going to be. Going back a little bit, we can look and see what happened back when Looks Rare token launched way back in January of 2022. So I made this tweet, OpenSea adds sweep function, which is awesome, but still lags on mobile. Blur is slowly adding creator royalties and seemingly in good favor with most collectors. The Blur airdrop may be worth more than people are giving credit currently. And I think that's very important because it matters depending on how much this airdrop is worth. People might go kind of over the top to get as much as they can. So back looking to January 10th of 2022, was when Looks Rare went live. A token airdrop happened, and look at the link charts of notable NFT collections around that time. So to be eligible for the Looks token, if you traded three ETH or more on OpenSea between the 16th of June 2021 to the 16th of December 2021, you're eligible for an airdrop of Lux token. Lux is a Lux rare native token. 100% of trading fees are earned by Lux token stakers. So the more people trade on the marketplace, the more we've earned. And so I went and I looked at some of these different collections and you'll notice right around January, whoa, we got some volume, Right around January here, it was kind of slow, but if we look exactly here and say, okay, maybe maybe that was exactly the 15th or somewhere around there, some significant growth. And then again, right around this line, sure, it was already starting to move, but we got some pretty massive movement. And I think the looks rare liquidity from their airdrop really helped move the market in uh, upwards trajectory. So let's now move over to KuCoin. Because I think a lot of people don't realize what some of the latest NFT pumps came from, and it was actually from KuCoin buying for fractional NFTs. So Moonbirds was their latest one, and if you go and check, you'll actually see that Moonbirds has moved a little bit. Just checking over the last seven days here, you'll see from January 2nd up to here, it was a pretty significant movement. We were down around seven, and then on average, it touched about 11. Further to that, we've had Cool Cats. I don't know exactly when that happened, but Izuki was on here, Fluff World. We have Fidenza and Chromie Squiggles. But KuCoin's not really buying those collections once they go and sweep through it. I'm obviously a big follower of Fluff World, and we saw that they got about 70 of them, and then it seemed to slow down. But no matter what kind of bigger market cap uh, NFT collection you get into... You know, 70 purchases definitely moves the floor no matter what way you look at it. And so we had KuCoin buying. We have the Blur airdrop marketplace that we're going to go into that rationale of why I'm kind of concerned about that. But also we have Board Ape Yacht Club with almost 400 active collaterals and loans taken out right now. Almost 400 people have their Board Ape Yacht Club NFTs on collateral. So this is where things get a little bit interesting. When you look at the top bid on Board Ape Yacht Club on Blur, it's 81.5. When you check on it at OpenSea, it's 80.71. The way the Blur airdrop happens, at least the TLDR, points are rewarded to bids on collections based on the collection's 24 hour volume. Within a collection, the bids that take the highest risk earn the vast majority of points i.e. if the floor is 1.01 .01 and there are 100 bids at 1 and you bid at 0.99, then your bid won't earn much points because there's 100 ETH of buy walls ahead of you. But if you bid at 1.01, .01, you'll earn a lot more because now you're taking the most risk. The longer your bid is active, the more points you'll receive. When a bid is accepted, it stops earning points. So you'll see on these top collections for the one-day volume... We have Board Ape Yacht Club, Beans, Kennel Club, Azuki, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, Friendship Bracelets, Other Deed, Clone X. It's also showing the seven-day volume as well. But for these bids, I kind of think that these Blur rewards 
are actually incentivizing a lot of people to keep these bids high so the floor doesn't really drop out at all and we may have kind of this artificial higher floor because of it. I know, I know, kind of absolutely crazy, but I think a lot of people aren't really looking at this and the fact that we have almost 400 apes out on loan right now and the mint happening and what we've seen with previous drops for uh, Yuga assets, it seems that the floor usually comes down a little bit after those mints happen. Now, do we see kind of a scenario where the blur rewards and the same time that, you know, there's a big movement within Yuga assets and it's kind of hidden within there? I'm not exactly sure. If I was going to give like a, a thought or prediction, I feel like well, we're going to see like a massive liquidity rush if some of this stuff happens where these bids are kind of just there for the most part for those rewards. And we'll see if that kind of flows into other collections at all, if people panic. But again, if you've looked at the charts today on the January of 9th of 2023, we are looking pretty green uh, across the board, uh, Bitcoin up 2.32%, Ethereum up 5.76%, BNB up 6%, XRP up 4% as well, and then Cardano up 12%. That's just looking at some of the top coins here. So holy sweet suffering, Succotash. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, found something useful out of that. Make sure to subscribe, maybe come hang out in the Discord, check the description below, but have yourself a great week.